Good evening and welcome to our service of evening prayer for Thursday, the 10th of December. We begin with our service of light, so I will light our candle. Light and peace in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Thanks be to God. Jesus Christ is the light of the world, a light no darkness can extinguish. And let us sing together our hymn to the light, Christ Mighty Savior. Christ Mighty Savior, light of all creation, you make the daytime radiant with sunlight, and to the night give glittering adornment, stars in the heavens. Now comes the day's end, as the sun is setting, mirror of daybreak, pledge of resurrection, while in the heavens, choirs of stars appearing, hallow the night Therefore we come now, evening rites to offer, joyfully chanting, Holy hymns to praise you with all creation, joining hearts and voices, singing your glory. And our psalm is Psalm 31, verses 1 to 5, which we say together. In you, O Lord, I seek refuge. Do not let me ever be put to shame. In your righteousness, deliver me. Incline your ear to me. Rescue me speedily. Be a rock of refuge for me, a strong fortress to save me. You are indeed my rock and my fortress. For your name's sake, lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net that is hidden for me, for you are my refuge. Into your hands I commit my spirit. You have redeemed me, O Lord, faithful God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our Advent hymn is number 101, Hail to the Lord's Anointed. We will sing it throughout the service, and we'll begin uh, at this point singing the first two verses. Hail to the Lord's anointed, great David's greater son. Hail in the time appointed, his reign on earth begun. He comes to break oppression, to set the captive free. To take away transgression and rule in equity. He shall come down like showers upon the fruitful earth. And love, joy, hope like flowers spring in his path to birth. Before him on the mountains shall peace the herald go, and righteousness in fountains from hill to valley flow. And our gospel today is Luke 22, 1 to 13, the holy gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. Luke. Glory to you. Lord Jesus Christ. Now the festival of unleavened bread, which is called the Passover, was near. The chief priests and the scribes were looking for a way to put Jesus to death, for they were afraid of the people. Then Satan entered into Judas, called Iscariot, who was one of the twelve. He went away and conferred with the chief priests and officers of the temple police about how he might betray him to them. They were greatly pleased and agreed to give him money. So he consented and began to look for an opportunity to betray him to them when no crowd was present. 
Then came the day of unleavened bread, on which the Passover lamb had to be sacrificed. So Jesus sent Peter and John, saying, Go and prepare the Passover meal for us that we may eat it. They asked him, Where do you want us to make preparations for it? Listen, he said to them, When you have entered the city, a man carrying a jar of water will meet you. Follow him into the house he enters, and say to the owner of the house, The teacher asks you, Where is the guest room where I may eat the Passover with my disciples? He will show you a large room upstairs, already furnished. Make preparations for us there. So they went and found everything as he had told them, and they prepared the Passover meal. The Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. It might seem a little odd that uh, here we are in the season of Advent. We're almost uh, to the third week of Advent. And here we have a scripture reading which is just preceding Easter. Um, this is the Feast of Unleavened Bread. This is when, uh, this is around the time when Judas Iscariot is going to be betray Jesus. And so it doesn't seem to add up. We're on the way to preparing for Christmas. But let us remember that we're in the season of Advent. We're, we're preparing for the coming of Christ at the end of time. And Christ the King, if you like, uh, the King of the Kingdom that we seek um, remember, to get to that uh, kingship, he had to go through great suffering and loss and even give up his life for us on the cross. So uh, we're still in the preparation for uh, the coming of Christ at Christmas, but we're also in the preparation of the coming of the King, the King who suffered for us, who comes to us in our day-to-day -day lives if we're attuned to the kingdom, and who also will come at the end of time who will come at the end of our time. This is what we are preparing our hearts for, not just Christmas. Let us remember that none of this kingdom, none of this salvation that Christ is bringing into the world happened without his suffering great loss, indeed giving his very life. And now we sing this third verse. King shall fall down before him, and gold and incense bring. All nations shall adore him, his praise all people sing. To him shall prayer unceasing, and daily vows ascend. His kingdom still increasing, a kingdom without end. And now let us say together the Hear, O Israel. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. This is the first and the great commandment. The second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. In our prayers today, when I say, Lord, in your mercy, please respond with hear our prayer. For the church of the living God throughout this world, let us ask the riches of his grace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For all who proclaim the word of truth, let us ask the infinite wisdom of Christ. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For all who have consecrated their lives to the kingdom of God, and for all struggling to follow the way of Christ, let us ask the gifts of the Spirit. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For Elizabeth, our Queen, for the Prime Minister of this country, and for all who govern the nations, that they may strive for justice and peace, let us ask the strength of God. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For scholars and research workers, that their studies may benefit humanity, let us ask the light of the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For all who have passed from this life, let us ask the peace of Christ. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we pray today for those who are sick, those known to each one of us, and those who are sick in our parish. We continue to pray for Joseph Sikalski, giving thanks for uh, a great improvement uh, we pray for Jane Ross, for Len, Alex, Nick, Jane Gatke, Jeff Smith, Bernice Peterson, Melanie and family, Cheryl Clark, Allie, Lynn Aitkins, Jane, Jody and Glenn Cocker, Corrine Newell, 
Marin Conlon, Vic Burden, Jean Griffin, Dave, and Star Barrett. We give thanks for them, O Lord. We pray for your healing touch, that it might enter their lives, that they might have wholeness of being in body, mind, and spirit. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray uh, for all who are working towards uh, the distribution and manufacturing of a vaccine to lift us out of this uh, crisis of pandemic. We pray for all who are exhausted with their work. We pray that they might have time to rest and refresh. We pray for all uh, who are giving so much at this time. Support them. And we pray that the community might express their appreciation and lift them up as best they can. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We continue to pray for our refugee family, Muhammad, Karima, Fatin, and Ahmed. Keep them safe, O oh Lord, healthy and happy as they await their coming to Canada. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for uh, 10 more households on our parish list. And if you are joining us from another parish or community, I invite you to pray for members of your community at this time as well. Today we pray for Stephen, Jane, and Hannah Ottman, for John Pabke, for William and Susan Parcham, for Elaine Parks, for Charles Parsons, for Karen Pasma, for Kenneth, Karen, Jared, Jordan, and Jeremy Pasma, for Dr. Maxwell and Carolyn Patterson, for Timothy, Jennifer, and Alexandra Patterson, and for Chris Payne. We pray, O oh Lord, giving thanks for them, and praying for their health and safety and welfare. And we pray, O oh Lord, that they might know they belong to a community of faith which prays and cares for them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. In the Anglican cycle of prayer, today we pray for the Diocese of Sitwe in Myanmar and the Right Reverend James Min Dean, their bishop, and the Diocese of Eha in Amufu in Nigeria, and the Right Reverend Daniel Olinya, their bishop. And we pray for all the clergy and people of those parishes. We also pray for the Diocese of Singapore in Southeast Asia and the Right Reverend Dr. Titus Chung, their bishop, the Diocese of Egbu in Nigeria, the Right Reverend Jeffrey Okoroafor, bishop, the Diocese of Egypt in Jerusalem in the Middle East, and the Right Reverend Munir Hana Anis, their bishop, and the Diocese of Nb, the Diocese of Egypt, is expected to become the province of Alexandria. So we pray for them as they move into that situation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we pray for another brother of the Society of St. John the Evangelist. Uh, today we pray for Brother Keith Nelson. We give thanks for his ministry, his preaching, and his reaching out and making a difference to so many uh, members of the Fellowship of St. John and the community in Harvard and Boston. We give thanks for his life. Keep him safe and healthy. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And the collect for the second week of Advent. Merciful God, who sent your messengers, the prophets, to preach repentance and prepare the way for our salvation, give us grace to heed their warnings and forsake our sins, that we may greet with joy the coming of Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And we pray our prayer from night prayer from New Zealand. Lord, it is night. The night is for stillness. Let us be still in the presence of God. It is night after a long day. What has been done has been done. What has not been done has not been done. Let it be. The night is dark. Let our fears of the darkness of the world and of our own lives rest in you. The night is quiet. Let the quietness of your peace enfold us, all dear to us, and all who have no peace. The night heralds the dawn. Let us look expectantly to a new day, new joys, new possibilities. In your name we pray. Amen. And gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us pray as our Savior taught us. Our Father in heaven, 
hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And now we will sing the final verse. O'er every foe victorious, he on his throne shall rest. From age to age more glorious, all blessing and all blessed. The tide of time shall never his covenant remove. His name shall stand forever, that name to us is love. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and peace at the last. May the God of peace which passes all understanding Keep our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Amen. Thank you for joining us uh, in evening prayer uh, this evening. Uh, tomorrow is Friday, so we won't have a posted uh, virtual evening prayer tomorrow. Uh, but I hope that uh, you will join us again on Saturday. Good night. <laughs>